There are several things we can do to reduce and minimize the heat loss from a house and therefore reduce fuel bills. Firstly, we can install double glazing in the windows. Now, how does this reduce or stop heat transfer? Well, it does that by having a, um, a an air gap and that reduces heat loss by conduction because air is a very poor conductor. So, it reduces, I'm going to put reduce here. Reduce because it won't stop it completely but it will reduce heat transfer by conduction. In the roof um, we can install fiberglass loft insulation. Fiberglass loft insulation and that's the that kind of wool itchy wool stuff which you've probably seen it's it's actually not very good for your skin uh, it contains a lot of air so it contains air pockets and that will help us to uh, reduce heat transfer by conduction again because air is a very poor conductor. You see there's a, a theme here. What about in the walls? Well in the walls we could fill up the gap, the cavity between the walls. Usually houses are, have got two skins and we can fill up that cavity with cavity wall insulation. Cavity wall insulation and that's usually a uh, it could be lots of sort of uh, polystyrene beads which are injected into the cavity space and that again creates air pockets air pockets which will reduce conduction but the main way that it stops heat uh, from moving is by it stops convection it stops heat rising up the cavity wall um, gaps up to the top of the house so it stops it by convection stops heat transfer by convection a very simple way to reduce uh, heat transfer is by using draft excluders draft excluders uh, around gaps around doors and windows and that will reduce heat transfer by convection due to wind and uh, drafts getting through or being stopped by the by the draft excluders and this actually has one of the fastest payback times uh, a draft excluder and and lastly we could um, we could put aluminium foil aluminium foil behind radiators radiators and what that will do is will it will reflect radiation infrared radiation back into the house so it's going to stop heat transfer by radiation so that's a neat little measure you can take to reduce heat transfer by radiation and so there we are we've got five different examples of how to reduce heat loss from a house It's well worth remembering these um, they often come up in exams